All right, so I figured I'd try my hand at this consistency thing and get my uploads a little more regular. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Josh and I'm a freelance cinematographer, DOP, camera operator, videographer, content creator. It's, it's just called too many things now, but I mostly work in commercial and documentary films and videos. And uh, this channel, I wanted to kind of flex my creative juices a little more. That's, that's a weird, weird term i'm having a trudeau moment prevents you from breathing or or, or speaking uh moistly on them oh, what a terrible image but i wanted to flex those muscles and bring my love for the outdoors and filmmaking together and create some content that hopefully you guys are into now 2020 was obviously a tough year for everyone and uh my career had a bit of a, a weird dip and so I was thinking in 2021 I needed to set some goals so I made that video a few weeks ago about setting those goals and one of them was to get out bike packing more this year fell in love with it last year had such a good time so I realized that uh, I couldn't always borrow bike packing gear when I wanted to go out and do that so I've been slowly collecting some of those things now one of the things that was not totally necessary but kind of necessary because you need to know where you're going uh, was a bike computer they're a little expensive uh, and your phone basically does the same thing so I was thinking about just sticking with my phone but then I realized they overheat the battery doesn't last nearly as long as you want it to and it doesn't have all the features that you might want as much as you spend on an app so the Garmin Edge 830 seemed to fit the bill was the best bang for the buck and I went and asked for a little more because I was smart and asked for this for Christmas. Got the mountain bike bundle. So let's dive in and see what actually comes with this guy. So with the mountain bike bundle, I still knew that this would live on my gravel bike for the most part, but what was really important was keeping this as compact as possible. Um, I, I tend to take risks on my gravel bike too, and, and I can crash sometimes. So uh, with the mountain bike bundle, it just seemed to work a little bit more and you'll find out why in a minute. But this whole thing is touchscreen with color, works great in the daylight, and the battery life is great as well. Has most of the same features as the Edge 10 1030, just in a smaller form factor. Um, there are only three buttons on it. So a couple navigation buttons on the bottom, your power button on the side, and then on the back, you've got your mounting point. And now this one has five contact points here. So if you want to use the uh, additional battery that you can purchase from Garmin to make this last longer than 20 to 24 hours, you can get that. But we all have charging banks. And if you're going to be doing a bike packing trip, you're going to be stopping at camp for an overnighter, a few days, you can bring a battery bank and just plug it in then. So that's the computer. Uh, if we open up to the inside, we get all the other goodies. And uh, first up, very exciting. This is the charging cable. So this is the micro USB charging cable. It's just a nice short little guy. So great for bike packing to stay compact when you are very limited on space. Uh, so again, I've got tons of these in the studio here, but they tend to go missing. So it's nice to have an extra if you need one. Next up, you've got the silicone bumper. Again, as someone who crashes and takes unnecessary risks sometimes, the bumper is just a little extra safety for your investment of your bike computer. So great to see that it comes with that as well. Then you've got the mountain bike mount right here. It's essentially the same as the out front mount, but just a little bit shorter, more compact and keeping it safe inside the hoods of the gravel bike. So again, any accidents they might have that's slightly more sheltered inside the hoods and the bars. Actually, let's show you how this actually mounts right now. So basically you line up your notches on the computer, just locks in nice and easy like that. So very easy to get mounted on the mountain bike mount. Next up, you've got the remote control here. So this will actually wirelessly Bluetooth talk to the uh, computer. So this would mount up on uh, as close to your hoods as possible so that you can navigate the menus of the bike computer. Big thing for me when I go out and ride my bikes is that I want to get away from screens. I don't want to be looking at this all the time. It's nice to know it's there tracking my stats really accurately, but I don't want to look at it all the time. So to navigate menus and stuff, I don't see myself using this a lot, but I'll be sure to test it out and see what it's all about. But uh, we'll see. The other big thing that I, I like, again, I enjoy checking out my stats after my ride's over and getting a really accurate speed readout when I'm bombing down some of the escarpment hills that we have in the Hamilton Burlington area. Uh, speed sensor gives you an even more accurate reading than an already super accurate reading from the satellites that this gets. 
Little note, side note, uh, is that this actually gives you GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo, so it's pulling from a ton of satellites to give you a incredibly accurate readout, whether you're in an urban environment or out in the country or back country somewhere. So this guy, just a nice little cherry on top for speed sensors. Uh, finally, you've got your safety tether right here. Again, great safety feature for your computer. Protects your investment, so if it pops off the mount somehow, it's protected. You've got your Allen keys to mount all of your mounts and then an extra gasket here. I assume if you've got a smaller handlebar, this will just uh, give you a little more spacer uh, right there. Then you've got some additional mounts here. So if you happen to break the mountain bike mount, or in my case, I'm also getting a stem cap mount for my mountain bike. Uh, these just give you a couple other options for mounting points and uh, extras. You can always use more. Inside you've got the instructions and warranty information. No one reads that, that's what YouTube videos are for. So uh, that's everything that comes in the mountain bike bundle. But the big thing that I couldn't really find online in terms of tutorials on how to use this is how to actually get the GPX files from your computer or whatever website you're using if you are looking at a specific route. Like myself, the Cannonball 300 site has the training uh, GPX file in there and I didn't know how to get it on. So I went through the steps, figured it out after uh, doing some research and I figured I'd make a quick tutorial on how to get your GPX files into the Garmin Edge 830. So let's dive in and uh, figure this thing out, all right? All right, so I've already gone ahead and downloaded a bunch of GPX files from routes that I wanna potentially do this summer. One of them being the Cannonball 300, created by my good friend, Mark, who I'll be doing that route with. So I wanna get that onto my bike computer, but we first have to get it off of the website which I've already done, and then onto the desktop. So from here, you'll go into the Garmin Connect app on your desktop. So you just Google Garmin Connect. Click on the link. If you haven't created an account, you'll just have to create an account first. It's not too hard. And then you'll open up to something like this. It already recognizes my computer right here. But to get that GPX file onto your computer, you'll go to the side menu here, which will pop out click on training, then go to courses. And right here, there's a Google map that pops up and you can create your own course right in here. You just click on the different uh, points on the map that you wanna go to, and then it'll create that course for you. We already have some GPX files, so we wanna get those into here. So underneath create a course, you'll see really small is import. Then you'll click on browse and I'll go to my file folder with all my bike packing routes. And here I've got the Cannonball 300 GPX file. I'll open that, click get started, and, oh, you gotta pick what type of ride. So we'll say it's gravel unpaved, it's more fun. Then from there, you can see it pops up right in the Garmin Connect app. So super easy so far, and we're gonna click save course, but first we're actually gonna name it because I forgot. When you import a GPX file, it doesn't always save the name of the route, even though it's in the file name. Uh, so we'll call it Canon Ball 300 and save new course. So now it's saved in the Garmin Connect app. It's not in your computer yet. The next thing you'll want to do, and the final thing you have to do on your laptop or computer is click send to device. So you click on that and it just, another pop-up comes up and it says, if you don't see the device you're expecting, it may not support this feature. No problem, the Garmin Edge 830 does, the 530 and 1030 do as well. Click send to device and it says this course will be available on your device after you sync. So then the final step is you just have to sync up your Garmin Edge 830 to the app in your phone. That you're getting that guy right there connected. You see it's connected and we're doing the update. We'll do one more just to be sure. And there we go. So now it's synced up. So now we should be able to go into the navigation, click on that, go to courses. Saved courses, there it is, the Cannonball 300. All right, so that's just a quick rundown and unboxing of the Garmin Edge 830 mountain bike bundle, as well as, you know, a little add-on tutorial on how to get your GPX files from your website of choice onto this little guy, the Garmin Edge 830. If you found this in any way entertaining or informative, feel free to leave a comment down below. What are the routes that you're planning on doing this year? Tell me about them, I'm actually genuinely Excited to hear about them. So leave a comment down below, like this video if you do, 
and uh, feel free to subscribe. I mean, it always helps. I missed my goal of a thousand subscribers by my birthday on the 15th of February. So uh, let's not make it a complete failure this year. All right, guys, until next time, stay wild. Oh, and uh, Jesse, thank you for letting me use your desk and for the mess that I've left here five times now. Yeah, I think that's it. That's that's all I got. It's it's Friday at 11:48. I'm going to bed.